Weber State is a part of the American College and University President's Climate Commitment. As part of that, we made a goal to become carbon neutral by the year 2050. An effective use of metering and dashboard and, you know, and the building OS tools are allowing us to reach that goal much quicker than we thought. How did the door meeting go yesterday? We told them what we wanted, first is pretty well defined. Before Sweet. building OS, uh, we had kind of a homegrown uh, type of a system. The only readings we had were out of our central plants. We did not have anything at the building level. If we don't have the data, we don't make the decisions. And the data just wasn't there. It just wasn't there. Originally, we had planned on using an ESCO at the campus for our energy program, but we realized there was a better method for us. We had to find a way to get data that was relevant, that was timely, and that would give us the information we needed to make good decisions on how we were going to use our resources. That is the reason we started going into the building OS world, is so that we could execute the same type of project internally with our own staff, our own project managers, and our own analysis. We wanted a nice interface, but also metering capability so that we could do that. I can't imagine doing it any other way. Now we meter every building for every utility. We were the first higher education institution in the state to accomplish that. Now this is a brand new building. It was designed with VRF uh, solar panels to be basically a net zero type of a building. Yeah, there's our electric meter. We have uh, meters for plug loads, and we have meters for lighting. So we're well metered in this building. Everything ties back into our building OS. It's very easy to do. You can go building to building, and you can analyze uh, the watts per square foot, the building usage. You can break out uh, the lighting, the mechanical systems. You have so many things that you can do with that software. It's very intuitive. But the biggest thing we do with it on a day-to-day -day basis is identifying buildings that are using too much energy for various reasons. Building OS lets us know that the energy consumption is too high, we can go in and make the adjustments. If we see something that's getting out of whack, we can get to it right away and get it corrected. We look at the heat map analysis, we look at the trend analysis, it shows up in visual form. I can see everything that is going on in a particular building. The metering allows us to identify good energy projects, verify those projects, and then maintain those projects. Our own construction group uses it quite a bit for sizing of buildings, sizing of equipment. We have been able to downsize from what the traditional mechanical engineer says he needs to have without changing the comfort levels. Save comfort, save money, save energy. It's a win-win all the way around. Uh, we're coming up on the arena. This is one of our big success stories right here. Well, you see, we call it the cloud. These are all LED lights. This is the first one in this type of a venue in the nation. We actually had engineers coming from Salt Lake City all over the place. They want to come see how we did it. There are a number of different areas where we've become a leader in the state uh, for energy performance. We're trying to set the trend for energy management and metering. I knew one of the things we had to have was a way to let people know what we're doing and so they can see the results, so that they get invested in the, in the process themselves. We have multiple dashboards on campus. We have one in the facilities management office where um, technicians use it. Everybody can see the results of what we're doing through building OS. It's a great facilitation tool. With the green features section, um, we're able to show all of the sustainability projects. We have our buildings, we have water bottle refill stations, bike infrastructure, public transportation. Everything is right there, very accessible for students. These are our new bikes at our Wildcat Center in the gym. and. As you're exercising, you're actually generating electricity for the building. We don't do it just because we're tree huggers. We do it because it makes good business sense. The biggest thing Building OS has allowed us to do is increase our energy savings on campus. We've saved about, in the last five years, 30% on our utility costs. From our baseline this year, we're on track to save $1.6 million out of a roughly $5 million budget. Having access to this data has made our decisions much easier. Data is king. We couldn't see where we need to go with all these new initiatives and new opportunities if we didn't have the data there. And the data comes from the building OS system at Weaver State.